It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Reaction being in your 58. Day in that neighborhood. My people. The Bean. Got a question for y'all. Real quick. Raise your hand if you have, at least in the past, eight McDonald's. Everybody hand should be up. Everybody hand should be up. I know it's not one person watching my video who have never ate anything from McDonald's, bro. We have all been there. Now, me personally, I don't go as much as I used to. Maybe like once a month now. It'll be about a month since the last time I'd have had me a Big Mac. But I know everybody know about McDonald's and at some point in time have ate from McDonald's, bro. It's probably the biggest fast food in the world. Not just in America, United States, in the world, bro. It's, and, and definitely the most known. I digress. The reason I'm asking y'all that is because we're going to a new channel today. What channel is that? Unpopular Notes. Unpopular Notes, y'all. This brand new channel. And the name of the video is terrifying things caught at mcdonald's now raise your hand if you ever been inside of mcdonald's pretty much everybody should be raising their hand unless you just went through the drive through your whole life but i highly doubt it man you've been in mcdonald's before and i used to work at mcdonald's that was my very first job so yeah i'd have been in mcdonald's plenty 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 time i digress again bro we finna see what this video talking about man i'm ready to do it but before we do it, y'all got to get what I you might need. Get what you need, now. Mm-hmm. You see that right here? Right here? I'm ready to do it. Y'all ready to do it? Then let's fucking do it. Huh? If you go to McDonald's, you likely don't expect to come home with a story. Yet time and time again, these retail workers are faced with dangerous conditions terrible customers and downright disturbing situations today we have some clips of some of the most disturbing things recorded at a mcdonald's from angry and violent customers dangerous situations and robbers who lack any sort of boundaries we've got some clips that you won't be able to believe so make sure you watch to the end and just see how wild it can get at mickey d's mickey d's please monopoly game mania when it comes to money, people will sometimes do shocking things. This quick clip captures the moment when a man decides to jump behind a counter and make a grab for McDonald's highly valuable Monopoly pieces. Really, These bro? can be worth a good amount of money, but you usually have to purchase a certain food or drink item to play. The man gives himself a chance to win big by taking a handful of these boxes. Of course, the McDonald's workers try to stop him, but he swipes at them with a knife, causing them all Damn, to pull back. Damn, dude got a knife in his hand. He went, Grease fire. He went bullshit about that monopoly play. Their <laughs> nightmare. One of the scariest things you can deal with is the ones that they use to scare you for operating procedures. Do you know how to put a grease fire out? These employees didn't, at least not at first. They grabbed the wrong extinguisher, which covered the fire in liquid. The next crew members mm. tags in. At this point, trying to put an oily lid on top of the vat to cut the supply of oxygen off. Unfortunately, this goes in at an angle, causing the fire to double in size. Finally, one crew member grabs the fire extinguisher and puts it out, causing the smoke to fill the room before the camera uh, cuts out. Window creeping burglar. Sometimes McDonald's deals with more than its fair share of hamburgers. This one, in particular, getting away with thousands when no one was looking. Merrimack police say what? it was early in the morning on March 27th when surveillance cameras inside this McDonald's on Continental Boulevard 
caught a person smashing through the drive through window. They climbed through the window, seemingly unannounced, quickly making their way to the safe. They climb in through the window, steal the money, and run out the back door, all in about the span of four minutes. The image that you see at the drive through is the individual putting the hammer through the glass. Uh, he quickly reaches in, un uh, secures the, uh, the locker bar that's on the slider, pushes the slider to the side, makes his way through up and over the window sill. This clean burglary managed to slip in and out, undetecting, without involving a single worker. Though you do have to wonder why no one, at any point, caught or tried to stop oh, the intruder. Oh, oh, oh. There was workers inside that why he was doing this? I'm thinking this after they didn't close or some shit. How in the hell ain't nobody know about this, bro? Come on now. Did everyone go on their break at the exact same time? Well, we would ha hope that anyone with information as to who uh, we need to look for or speak with, any persons of interest, uh, come forward to contact the Merrimack Police Department. How the hell he get in the safe? The safe was just open? Inside job, maybe? Mm-hmm. Inside job, people? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Traumatizing shift at McDonald's. You never expect to go into a shift and be faced with horrifying expectations. Be those a long shift or dangerous abuse. Under the guise of being a police officer, this young worker at McDonald's was coerced into stripping down and sitting in the manager's office for three hours by her manager. I was scared. I, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to do. What the I was fuck? petrified. She covered herself in an apron, but no one knew what was happening. She was passed off between managers, only giving some of the information and told to do increasingly insane tasks like jogging in place, bending over, and a lot more. I begged her every time she came in the room, get me out of here. Please get me out of here. Donna, please, please. I didn't do anything wrong. Please believe me. Her manager only knows some of what's going on as she tries to continue to leave and run the store in the midst of all of this. They wouldn't have ran out. You're convinced there's no way you could have done it. There's no way. It takes a maintenance worker to finally put his foot down and refuse to comply, which reveals everything that's gone on in the office. Finally, they call the police and the worker is released from her torment. Bro, what the hell was Fast that? food earthquake. Ideally, if you're ever faced with an earthquake, you'll be able to get somewhere safe. Back home, ideally, or somewhere where you can protect yourself from falling objects. This YouTuber caught the earthquake shaking the McDonald's he was in from beneath his feet, capturing the moment as the foundation and fixtures began to sway and shake on video. Do you think you could keep it together, exposed and in public like this? How would you handle this situation? This is McDonald's. The earth is shaking. I won't be standing right there with uh, video or shit. You guys can't see you guys. Manager stumbles into bucket of hot oil. Ugh. There's a reason that operating procedures and safety protocols exist, and one of those is to keep workers safe. While one McDonald's worker was cleaning out the boiling hot oil from the fryers, a manager walked by. The camera catches the moment as she reaches oh! over to presumably check something. Unfortunately, whatever she's checking goes by the wayside oh! because a mess on the floor causes the woman to slip and fall. The bucket of hot oil on the floor is caught in the crossfire and pours all over her. The man tries to reach down and see if she's okay, but it's too late. The fryer oil boils at insane temperatures, meaning this woman likely took the full brunt of that burn, which will severely disfigure or scar her for some time. Luckily, it seems Jesus like only half the Christ, bucket pours out bro. before she's able to get away to safety. Not quickly enough to avoid pain or anything, but quickly enough that she scurries off camera to see Bro, man, she is burnt the fuck up, bro. She scarred, bro. She is scarred, bro. I used to clean out them all, uh, had to clean out the fryer sometime. And you put the oil, he got it in the bucket, but it usually be a pan down there that the oil go into. But, bro, when I say that shit is hot as a, I'm talking about fish grease hot, man. Oh, my God. Seek medical attention. Karen throws tantrum in McDonald's. Oh, shit. No matter where you are or what your business is, eventually all retailers deal with a Karen. 
This woman, fed up with waiting for her food at McDonald's, begins trashing the store and throwing things at the staff behind the counter. She starts by simply looking fed up before the clip cuts and she comes in from off camera. She hell? throws a bucket, containers, wet floor signs and more. All we can see are the other guests trying to get away from her and the employees trying to scramble out of the line of fire. These workers are likely not paid nearly enough to deal with this level of customer misconduct and unruliness. Still, Karen, it's man, the reality it's that she's probably not the first and hardly the last. Calm down, Karen. Customer squeezes in a burglary. If you're not dealing with one kind of crazy, messed up scenario in food service, really? it's another. While it was unattended, this woman squeezed through the window. It began with a cup and a drink, but quickly escalates. She's bold, at this point, climbing fully into the store to grab whatever she wants. With her shirt pulled up over her head, she thinks she's home for- Why do Bro, this gotta be one of the most dumbasses I ever seen, bro. Now you put the shirt over your head, you done been on camera all this time trying to reach and get your little Coca-Cola. And hey, what you got? What, what is in that box? People do the dumbest shit sometimes, bro. Let's go. Free. But she fumbles at the last moment, hey, dropping a box of foodstuffs before she's able to shove it out the window. This proves to be only a moment's hold up as she picks it up quickly and hands it to an accomplice waiting for her thieving out in the car. What? Man gets out of car at wit's end. Sometimes lines don't move quite as quickly as you'd hoped. For most people, this is fine. This is a mild inconvenience at worst. However, this man climbs out of his car and begins screaming in the air, asking for help from the sky. What the fuck? The video is called Guy on Drugs Screaming McDonald's Drive Through. It's hard to know precisely why he begins screaming for help and then just suddenly climbs back into his car cry for help or just a really bad trip. Either way, if I was behind him, I'd definitely be reconsidering whether I really need that McDonald's or not at this point. I know, right? Couple antagonizes worker until he breaks. Another example, though it's hard to really know what's going on here without the full context. This couple in the car has supposedly been waiting for their food for nearly half an hour. Sorry, do you know that we've been waiting like 25 minutes for this food? Huh? We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. The man who finally brings it out to the car says he's new and clearly doesn't know how to handle the situation. I'm a new employee. Stop. However, they begin demanding free food, some reimbursement or something. No, but like, no, no, but we expect something free, free yeah. the food for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give us some free food. <laughs> Likely due to his initial rude behavior, this causes the man to start to act out himself as he laughs at their behavior. What do you think this is? <laughs> <Dirty>. <laughs> I don't have time, I don't have time. Are you okay? Which eventually devolves into him eating their food because they refuse to take it without exchanging something. Wow. Oh man. McDonald's. What? UK McDonald's. <laughs> this, is, this is where Corona happened. He leaves and the woman goes in to complain, leaving her partner behind who all we can hear has begun laughing at the sheer absurdity of the situation. <laughs> Hard to blame him for that, though when she returns, he's quiet and she's clearly upset. The two of them both seem rather incensed, but it's hard to say who's right and wrong. He probably shouldn't have taunted him, but they were rather rude. So I'd say this interaction is a wash. What about you? Before the last clip, Hell since you watched no, until this bro. point, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? Hey, subscribe we to upload two new notes. creepy, disturbing, and downright scary videos every week. So make sure you stay up to date with our latest releases by getting those post notifications. If you enjoyed this one, we have plenty more for you on the channel. So you won't want to miss a single one. Ghost in a McDonald's Cafe Overnight no matter what the internet might try to convince you, supernatural dealings are extremely rare. Rare enough that many will never see it, and even more will never believe it if they did. That being said, this camera caught what seems undeniable proof that the restaurant is actually haunted, and that's both thrilling and terrifying. What it shows is slow and challenging to see, 
but undeniable because these cameras only turn on for some sort of activity, meaning something had to happen. Then, during the video, we aren't seeing What's chairs flying or anything out of a paranormal activity film, but we do see a shadow cross the floor, despite the cafe being completely empty. This might not be national news, but it's still more than a little spooky. Yeah, that was a what the fuck at the end. I mean, <clears throat> most of these videos on this one, bro, was just what the fuck. So like, I don't, what the fuck, what? Like, I don't know. That was a weird watch there, y'all. But I enjoyed myself. I hope y'all enjoyed y'allself, too. We will be back to unpopular notes. I gotta jot him down in my notebook to make sure we come back to him. I digress, bro. Don't let y'all get up out of here. That was reaction video. What? 58? Damn, we moving along, moving along, moving along. I'll be back real, 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 real quick. But until then, hope y'all have a great day. And I gotta say one more thing. The Bean Baby! Legend.